if you've got a problem, where would you go? The, the people that come to use citizens' advice are people of all sorts of people, very poor people, um, people on good incomes, um, people who are unemployed, and pe people who are in managerial jobs. And the one thing they have in common is that they have a problem. The, the emphasis is on helping them to solve their own problems rather than solving the problems for them. Quite a lot of people are only two wage slips away from a disaster. It may feel a bit like an us and them situation, but the barrier between us and them isn't as big as some people think it is. Citizens Advice really should always sit at the hub. It's one of those organisations that looks a bit like the sun peeping over the top. We're a charity. Our services are free. You can trust us and we're confidential. If you have a problem, any sort of problem, and we've seen a lot of things over the years, just come in, you can talk to us. Our aim is to make sure that people are aware of their rights and that people are getting what they are due. No more, but getting what they are due. A place where people can go to get some help and to be totally trusted because the people in this bureau can be trusted. We've been in Milton Keynes for almost 50 years and we're not just a charity, we're a local charity staffed by local people helping local people. Everybody brings something special. Now that I've become a volunteer, I know whoever deals with the client, that's the image of Citizens Advice. So it's the friendly face, I think, more than anything else. The friendly and helpful face. The thing that I'm most proud of is how representative we are of this city and of the people who live in this city. Our base is very diverse. Our volunteers will basically come from all walks of life. If they've served their, their community, they want to give something back to our community. For me, it was, it was the feeling of education. that I, Here I am learning so many different things about what goes on in the community and what problems there are in the community. Because I honestly really didn't know the real problems. And I think it was more about that and that, you know, I'm really learning a lot here and I'm managing to help people as well. And that was the Eureka moment. We have a lot of students. We have a lot of mums. They're gaining experience, they're gaining confidence um, and, and maybe out of that they're going to get a job. Any large town or city needs a citizen's advice service. It helps anyone that uses that service, an, an employee, a client or even a volunteer, understand their city, their town, the place they live in. The, the biggest misconception we have is that we are government funded. And when we start to appeal for funds, because we look after everybody, we do the whole spectrum. And that's probably one of the hardest jobs we have, is to make people understand that we are an individual charity. Milton Keynes um, is outwardly quite affluent. That's not the Milton Keynes that we see on a daily basis at all. People in all walks of life will come to the Citizen Advice Bureau from, from whatever background. We have people come that have genuine needs uh, with mental health issues and whatever that can't cope, that have been out in the community, and don't seem to get much help from the support workers, etc. Um, to people that are very articulate and intelligent, but that find themselves, in, in, through no fault of their own, often in debt, or a particular problem, it could be a consumer problem with a car or anything like that, and they need some help as well. You may have a problem that's hard to define, or you might have a problem that's linked to many other problems, but what you really need to do is look at your options, because there might be one or two or three different ways of dealing with your problem. And what we do is we help you to understand all those options. We don't choose the options for you. We're there to help you understand things on your terms in language and words that you understand.